The contralateral split stance RDL is going to give us our first opportunity to practice the hinge pattern from a single leg perspective. That's going to change the movement because when we go from a two-legged pattern to a single leg pattern, obviously it's more challenging on balance, but more so it's going to require more demand that hamstring and that outer hip as you go through the motion. So don't be surprised if you feel that butt really burning up. When you set up the position, set it up as if you were going to do a two-legged RDL, and then we're going to take the non-working leg and place that ball of foot even with or just behind that front heel. When I'm standing in this position from the side, it should look the same as if it was a two-leg movement. My body has not moved. I'm going to place 80% of my weight on that lead leg. Back foot's acting like a kickstand, which is 20% of my weight. I'm going to push that butt to the wall behind me. And if I'm maintaining a square shoulder, square hip, square knees, then my knees are pretty much in line with each other still throughout the motion. At the bottom, you can test yourself. Go to the position, hold, and without moving your posture, you should be able to lift that back leg. If you are forced to lean forward to do so, it means you're putting a little bit too much weight on that back leg, shift it forward. Okay. Now when we bring the weight in, the fancy word contralateral means opposite side loaded. So if I'm working my right leg, I'm going to load on my left leg. I'm going to set my position, and I'm going to let the kettlebell hang in a comfortable position in which that lat is down and engaged, the core is braced, my opposite hand is going to make a fist and push to the ground to help create some symmetry side to side, and as I push that butt to the wall behind me, my front foot is staying stable, big toe, pinky toe, and heel firm to the ground, my range of motion is determined by that lengthening in my hamstring, the ability to stabilize my core and maintain that flat back. We see the kettlebell staying close to me, and at the bottom, I still only feel about 20% of weight on that rear toe. That's your contralateral split stance RDL.